a, that might be a drum. Oh no, that's just a pick. Dude, I got a stud. Oh, that's a big one, man. That is a giant. All right, guys, what's going on? It's Kavari Tech Media, Caleb here, and welcome back to the channel, guys. We're about to get the dust knocked off the kayak. We got the kayak right there in the back of the truck. Speaking of trucks, guys, it has been a long couple of months, man. I've uh, been super busy at work. As you guys know, this is not my full-time job. I wish it was, but it is not. But with that being said, guys, we actually upgraded, man. We got a brand new truck. Been needing one for a really long time, so got the brand new uh, F-150. If y'all been watching me for a while, um, I, I used to drive an old F-150 and it was just on its last leg, guys. Really needed to get a new vehicle. It was starting to have some issues. Great truck overall, but hey, we're not gonna sit here and ramble on too much. We're gonna go ahead and get everything unloaded, gonna get out on the water. I'm actually meeting uh, one of my buddies. His, name's, his name is uh, James. He's already out there, I believe. So yeah, with all further ado, let's go ahead and get everything unloaded and let's get on the water. All right, guys, we have made it out to the bridge and took a little bit longer than what I expected to find bait. Uh, didn't find a ton, but we did find some decent sized fiddler crabs. And uh, we also found some marsh crabs or speed crabs, whatever you want to call them. So we're going to go ahead and start off using this. That's going to hopefully catch a sheep's head or a drum. And what we're gonna be using, guys, uh, if y'all been watching the channel for a long time, right here we have a bird of prey jig, uh, a sheep's head jig, I should say. And these things work really great for targeting sheep's head around these bridges. And that's all right there, man. Drop that right next to a bridge pylon and hold on. So we're gonna go ahead and drop this guy down. We got James over there now, he's fishing, and we're gonna see if we can't pull up some sheep's head, maybe a black drum, who knows. There he is, there he is. Got him, guys. There we go, that's a fish. There's a sheep's head. First one, baby. He's not a giant by any means, but I think he might keep. <sighs> Heck yeah. <laughs> First one of the day, guys. That is the targeted species, man. Not a giant, but legal limit is uh, they have to be 12 inches long here in the state of Florida. And I do believe that he is gonna be 12 inches long, guys. Watch out for these things, uh, their spines. They got really nasty spines on them, so whenever y'all are handling them, just be extra cautious. Let's go ahead and put this in the rod holder really quick. Bird of prey jig. I'll link these down below if y'all wanna go check them out. They're really good, really good sheep's head rigs. Let's get the bump board. Yeah, guys, he is right at 14 inches. Right at 14, that is a keeper sheep's head right there, guys. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and get him in the cooler. All right, first fish in the yak. Perfect, man, that's what we came after. We came after some sheep's head and we already got one. Not a, not a giant, not a giant, but he was around 13 and a half, right at 14. I'll take a legal sheep any day. So let's go ahead, We're, we'll put on another crab and typically whenever you catch one sheep's head, you actually catch more. Uh, they tend to run in groups and I was on this pylon right towards the left of James. James is right there. So I'm gonna go back to the same pylon and drop it in the same area and see if we can pull up another one. There he is. Oh, he dropped it, he dropped it, come on. He had it for a second. There he is. Oh, come on, man. Oh, he got my bait. Damn it. Oh. 
There he is. Ah, oh, nice. That's a sheep's head. That's a sheep. That's a, I think it's a little bit bigger. I don't know. We're about to find out. There we go. Yeah, slightly bigger. Nice. Nice. There we go. As long as we're upgrading, we ain't downgrading. She's probably right at 15, man. Nice sheep's head right there, guys. Heck yeah. The first drop on this pylon, I missed this guy. And I knew if I was patient that he would eventually come back. Beautiful fish, man. Beautiful. <sighs> nice solid sheeper right there. That is number two right there. All right. Let's get a quick measurement. He's a little bit over 14. He's not too much bigger than the last one. He might be a smidge thicker, but uh, he's not much longer, man. But second keeper, guys. Let's put him in the box. That is number two right there. Number two. Got ourselves a nice dinner. Once again, that bird of prey sheep's head is doing the job, guys really solid jig to use uh, super simple for sheep's head fishing you just tie it straight to a leader uh, do a uni to uni knot to braid and boom there you go that's all you really need to do you can purchase fiddler crabs at most bait shops or you can just find your own like we did and sheep's head are probably one of the best eating fish in shore in my opinion besides flounder i don't think anything beats flounder but <laughs> But that's the bait, guys. Ooh. There he is. There we go. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. That's a good one right there, guys. That's the best one of the day. Best one of the day right here, man. There we go. He's a good 17, 18 incher. Oh yeah. Let's bring the kayak back. I'll tell you what, man, these jigs perfectly set right in the corner of the mouth like every time. Oh yeah nice fish right there good quality sheep's head guys probably 16 17. damn he wasn't going anywhere <laughs> guys james no lie just caught a sheep's head like this big on a hook that was hilarious That might be a drum. Oh no, that's just a pick. Dude, I got a stud. Oh, that's a big one, man. That is a giant. Oh, he's in the structure. He's in the structure, come on. Oh my gosh, man, this is a stud. I thought this was a drum for a second. Oh my gosh, that is a pig. Oh no. Jeez, man, pulled the hook. Hey. I just missed, I just hooked a 20, probably about a 21 inch sheep, man. I had him on the surface and the hook pulled. It was a big sheep too. Oh my gosh, guys, that sucks, man. That was a good sheep set right there. Oh, that was 100% over 20 inches. That was probably a good 21 inch sheep right there. Oh, golly. Yeah, for a split second. I thought that sheep said it was actually a, a black drum because I just felt dead weight. Usually whenever you hook a black drum, you know right away because it just feels like dead weight. But that was a sheep said I was actually caught off guard by that.